We're hooked up, fellas. Hand line and the rod. I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know what we're gonna do. It's just wheat, you know, it's just wheat. It's just, we just rot the wheat. It's just like you're making mash for, for uh, moonshine or something. The first warm front of February, I like to start my black soldier fly bin. I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know what we're gonna do. Hand line and the rod. Crappie rod. Oh. Well. Alright. I think we got. Rod. That's the rod. All right, hand line. Hand line. Uh, fellas, I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah, he hit the bottom one on the salted bluegill. Fella, hand line, salted bluegill on one of my thump rigs. Yellow and red again. Tip with him. And the rod has a thump rig fly rod sized and uh, tip with bluegill. So, I mean, tip with, uh, he didn't even have him hooked good. He could have gotten off. All right, fella. Fella, we might have another fish fry. <laughs> we got something.
I think it's a little channel, maybe. Yep. Got another one. recipe is a bait recipe, not eating recipe. So you sour the wheat as you saw in the first part of the video, and then you have to drain the water off. Here is a nice convenient six holes to drill, and then I secure the lid and turn it upside down. After the water is drained, you put the lid back on and um, turn it right side up and you just let it sit until the black soldier flies find it, lay eggs and hatch. And so I probably won't even look at this for another month. All you need is the wheat, a bucket, some water, and time. That's how this recipe works.